Hello, my collective. Welcome. This is me, Triple Two Tarot Thuba, and today we're going to do the reading about soulmate. So let's see who is your soulmate. Who will be that person that you're going to connect it with on the soul level? So this could be romantic. This could be platonic. Take what resonates. It's a general reading, collective reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. So let's see who is the who is your soulmate. If you're watching this video, this is for you. Let's see who is your soulmate. Who is this person? Five of Cups. They could be very sad, uh, very like have a victim mentality type of a person. They could be heartbroken. Some of you, you already know them, but you're in a separation. You're not talking to each other. They're feeling sad or disappointed. Um, they could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person has a failed relationship. They're not happy and satisfied. So when you will meet them, they will definitely going to explain or tell you about their past. Yeah, another five. So you could be seeing five, five number a lot. That's your sign. Um, this person is... Um, could be very highly spiritual, could be religious. They're very uh, strong-minded. They have a definitely um, some type of a repetition or some type of a influence in the community. They could be well-known person in their community or they are doing something in the field of spirituality, teaching, education, healing, um, counseling, okay? They could be very wise. They could be very mature than their age or they could be literally older than you. Yeah, this is someone um, who could be very friendly, Three of Cups. They may be, have a lot of friends or you will be friends with this person first, okay? You will get to know each other. Each other. You will be good friends. This could be, for some of you, it could be in a platonic way. This could be your, your soulmate in a friend, okay? Like you're good friends and you will always remain good friends. This person could be from your same soul tribe. So you will always stay connected with each other no matter what. Uh, and others of you, this could be romantic. So this is someone that you're going to maybe end up marrying with, ending in a relationship. And this is going to be a very spiritual connection. Okay. You will have this union with this person. You will also going to celebrate and make the memories with this person a lot. Okay. The next is the six of pentacles. Maybe you're going to meet this person through work or mutual friends or collaboration, working together through mutual friends also. You're going to go work together or you will work together. Okay, this is someone who's definitely believe in equal give and take. They will be your good friend, but at the same time, good lover. Uh, this is also someone who maybe um, has a good sense of, uh, you know, business. Okay, they could be in a field of business. So they definitely have a, they're very smart with the money. They could be, it's like work very hard, but at the same time, play very hard. So that's the energy I'm picking up from this person. So they could be when you will meet them, it's very specific. Some of you, you will meet them when you are 35 or 36 or they, this could be their age when you will meet them. Life path number three or five or six could be important. You will also see five, five number a lot. Um, that's that's your sign. OK, this relationship is going to be equal give and take. Either it's a friendship or relationship. You both are going to satisfied in this relationship. So you will be happy that you meet each other. You see each other. You've gone through. Um, if you're in a separation, I think you will be together. You will maybe stay connected as a friends. Or you will get, uh, you know, in a union again with this person. It's just a matter of the divine timing when you will learn your lesson here with this person. But definitely it's very spiritual. It's very um, highly connected with each other. So that's your reading. I'm going to see you later.